Hello guys, how are you? This is uh, JP Sarri once again coming to you with another episode of my uh, blog, uh, Drop in the Hammer, Drop the Hammer. And, and today uh, I want to talk about the things that uh, matter, of course, I always do that in every video that I, that I produce. I want to talk about the things that matter to me, especially when it comes about geeky stuff and, you know, movies and, uh, you know, upcoming events. First of all, I want to talk about San Diego Comic Con. Uh, definitely I'm excited for, for for this con like every other con one of the the ones that always brings the house down one of the companies that uh, does collectibles that really uh, it steals the show every year is of course uh, SciShow collectibles uh, of course this year uh, I am excited for things that uh, we already have seen some of the promos um, uh, we still want to see more so I'm really looking forward to that uh, to it and you see of course I want to see rocket uh, and Groot, you know, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I want to see the the statue, so I'm I'm looking forward. It's a one for scale. I'm not a one for scale anymore. I, I'm a collector. I don't really collect as many one for scale. That does not mean that I still enjoy or I still have some one for scale pieces in my collection. Uh, I still enjoy them, and I, I love the art. It's definitely SciShow has uh, improved up, up, up on time. You know, see collectibles nowadays is just amazing. Uh, we're gonna see Gamora. I definitely, I'm not a fan of the Marvel Now design. I'm not a, a designs of the comic book in itself. I do like Gamora's design, uh, new um, suit, and it, she looks very cool, very modern. Uh, definitely, it's a very nice uh, statue that you know SciShow came up with. Uh, Mrs. Marvel, definitely a killer uh, design, uh, and of of course, I heard some, we have seen some images of Angela. Never been a fan of Angela, you know, even though, you know, from the era of Spawn and then went into Marvel. Not a fan, uh, but, you know, the design, the statue is pretty, pretty cool. So I'm very excited. And, of course, we got Batman versus Superman that I was not a fan of the movie. But um, definitely looking at, uh, I think Ben Affleck kill it with the design, you know, in this case, the suit. He really looked pretty good uh, as Batman. So, of course, Saisu has to come up with one of the statues. Killer Croc, I um, definitely want to see it uh, in the videos. I've seen some of the videos presentation from SciShow. Definitely look fantastic. Uh, Black Canary, uh, Huntress that is uh, coming. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, you know, Catwoman. Michelle Pfeiffer uh, as Catwoman. Definitely fantastic uh, statue, actually, that was designed by my friend Joe Mena. Uh, great sculptor. Uh, you got Green Lantern, Aquaman. Of course, we have seen him before. Probably going to see more about him. Uh, Looking forward to the new Tennis Mutant Ninja Turtle line. Uh, definitely looks fantastic. I'm still a fan of the original statues produced by SciShow. Definitely those are the best uh, characterizations of the characters. This new design is more modern. I probably kind of appeal a little bit with them, you know, kind of go along with what the movies are doing right now. Um, but definitely, yes, uh, I want to see more about them and see what, what, what they have in store. Uh, but th from all the stuff that I've seen so far, the one that really caught my eye and the one I'm really looking forward is it uh, in this case the Hulk versus Wolverine maquette uh, definitely you know I, as you know I'm a, uh, a diorama, diorama fan I've been a, a diorama fan for years that's one of the reasons why I got into SciShow in the first place they stopped doing that uh, and you know like they went into the four the one for scale route and you know they have a big following on that probably the the diorama wasn't as popular and it wasn't as popular uh, at, at some point when the one for scale was pretty much the the highlight and the main of their business uh, but the fact that they're doing maquettes so this is going to be like a one-fifth I don't know how big it's going to be but you know one thing I can say about Sasha when it comes about designing um, you know designing maquettes or dioramas they are the best in the market uh, they're the best they know what how to do it uh, so I'm looking forward to see more and of course you know Taisho always brings all this stuff you know they have the, the action figures they have more statues you know stuff for Star Wars uh, Django Fit, I know is coming too. There's a lot of things that are coming from SciShow. It's always it's a nice thing to look at them. I love to watch their videos and all the people talking and all the coverage of their booth. Also, talking about other companies, I would say Kotobukiya is definitely uh, always in my in my mo most important list. I want to see what Kotobukiya is bringing. Of course, right now they're more invested into the Artifacts Plus line for Marvel and DC uh, and uh, Star Wars. So I, I'm not a fan of those. You know, I don't collect them. Uh, well, we'll see what were they going to break. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm expecting of that. Of course, I want to see about the artifacts line if they're gonna bring more DC characters. Uh, I overheard for, for some there that they probably wanna uh, bring some of the uh, probably Green Lantern, Lantern or somebody else. Not sure. I'm don't quote me on that. But I want to see what are the next. Who is the next character in this line? Of course, the Vishoyo line, always very popular. 
And for me, it's always been the fine art statue line, the you know skate Eric Sosa line. Definitely looking forward to that. I know there is a surprise for all of us coming. Every uh, Comic Con, every year, we have a new statue that is really uh, revealed. We last time we got, um, I think, you know, in the Toy Fair, we have um, the reveal of Thanos. Not a totally a fan of the statue in itself, of the design, the modern design. So I know there's going to be uh, something this this uh, the Comic Con. I cannot comment on that. Uh, you know, I overheard things here and there, um, but um, I'm really excited. So stay tuned for Karabuki and see what they're bringing. And of course, there's other companies. You see Gentle Giant, always, always I'm expecting Gentle Giant. I'm not a fan. In the last few years, Gentle Giant has been going towards a different route. Of course, they restructured the company. Uh, they were bought by 3D um, Design. So definitely, uh, they went a different route. They do a, they're doing a lot of action figures, uh, you know, a little overpriced action figures, especially when they look at as the old... Uh, Secret Wars figures, not a fan of none of that. Um, but you know, like when it comes to my statues, they definitely know how to do it. I hope, I'm hoping still that they continue with the mini bus line because I'm a fan of the mini bus line. Um, they, with Marvel mini bus, uh, you know, they have done some for the movies and stuff like that. Not a fan of some of them right now, but I wish, you know, they continue on with more Marvel stuff. Uh, and of course, you have Diamond Select now with. Um, Clay Vermorn working for them and pretty much directing as the art director. Uh, they're doing a lot of great stuff with statues. The only thing with Diamond is sometimes the quality of the paint. It's not the greatest, but uh, you know, I'm looking forward. They're doing a lot of action figures. Uh, John St. John is that does a lot of their stuff, and it definitely they have some great action figures. And they're coming up with some really cool ones like the, the Ghostbuster stuff. You know, I, I'm really every year it seems that Diamond Select brings a lot of more stuff. And they get them better and better with the design. Of course, you got Weta, you got Prototype C. Uh, in this case, Eric Sosa with his company is doing all of them for Capcom. They're doing some stuff for DC. They're doing some stuff for himself for his company. He's gonna be sharing a boot uh, with Gecko um, uh, Corp. Uh, I will see how it goes. Uh, you, of course, you always see McFarlane toys that in recent years has been doing. Uh, Todd has been doing a lot of great things with his company. A lot of uh, statues and more action figures and more. Um, you know, like, you know, PVC stuff, and definitely they're doing fantastic. Of course, you have Mondo, that we haven't seen the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, figures out yet. They're probably going to start coming in the in the next few months, but I want to see what Mondo is bringing new this year. Of course, you got Mesco, that definitely I love Mesco, and if you haven't seen my Thundercats line, hopefully they continue the line, the Thundercats line. That's something that I'm hoping. Um, but, they, of course, they, they have other lines. Uh, of course, NECA, you got Bandai, you got Toynami, that always bring a lot of stuff from Asia. You got, of course, Maddie Collector. You cannot leave Maddie Collector, and I want to see more about the Thundercats line. Now, talking about upcoming things, of course, you know, you know, Batman vs. Superman, Donna Justice. You saw my quick review. I didn't even get the chance to do a full review because, to be honest, I was disappointed with the movie. I watched it twice. Uh, the second time was better than the first time, but still, the movie, for me, it sucked. The movie was not what I expected it to be. So, of course, you know, like, you know, money-making thing. You know, Warner Brothers decided to throw out all out and they created the Ultimate Edition, Ultimate, and they do the extended cut, all the stuff that was cut. So it adds another 30 minutes to it. Of course, some people already watch it because, of course, it's all about a money making thing. They decide to release that digitally uh, a few weeks prior to the release that is just coming uh, next Tuesday to July 19. Definitely a lot of people that have watched it through the digital, of course, this is the funny part. This is the thing that I don't, I don't understand. People that bought the digital, you know, they still got to buy the Blu-ray if they want to. So you have to choose one or two. I feel that that's just overkill. So I decided not to buy it. First of all, because I didn't like the first movie. Well, in this case, the original, the theatric theatrical version. So I'm going to wait for the Blu-ray, the extended cut, to see if there's any difference. And I'm going to get it because I'm such a geek. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I just love the, you know, love it hard, I would suppose. I don't know. Um, but I want to watch it. I want to see if it's what they say. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at it and... You know, I, I'll share my opinion with you. It's Ghostbusters, and as you can see, I'm a fan of Ghostbusters. I have the T-shirt. Friday, this Friday, you know, this weekend, uh, we are going to see Ghostbusters uh, reboot. A lot of people, it's been the most hated movie online, the most hated movie online uh, in recent years, or maybe forever. But a lot of people don't want to see it. I hear a lot of comments, a lot of criticism. People saying, you know what, this is not what it's supposed to be. Blah 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 things here and there. To me, you know, you know, I take everything with a grain of a, a grain of salt. I definitely, personally, I like Ghostbusters. And I'm going to be honest with you. Compared to a lot of people, sometimes people talk a lot, I, I talk nonsense. 
out of their own butts because in reality they don't understand or they don't know the franchise. And I can tell you one thing, I'm a fan of Ghostbusters, I've been a fan of Ghostbusters since I was a kid. And not just, oh, you know, like I was just coming along and the Ghostbusters was already, uh, you know, in a franchise. No, I went to watch the original movies, that tells you how old I am. I watched the original films at the theater. I'm not a spring chicken. I loved them, I was a kid, I fell in love with the franchise. When the real Ghostbusters came on TV, I was a fan. You know, I have the collection of DVDs, I have even the VHS, you know, VHS tapes. You know, put it that way, I've been a fan since day one. I have the whole toy collection, I have the, you know, ectoplasm that came in the little bottles that you can, you know, I play, you know, with my brother and sister, you know, like that was a nasty thing, you know, I collect those, they were, if you remember those, they were the stinkiest things you ever had in your life. I don't know how in the world they allow children to play with that kind of chemical stuff. It was so bad. But you know what, we have fun. You know, and you know, I play with that. I, I, oh, to this day, you know, I play the video games several times on the PS3, on the Xbox 360. You know, all the games that come out, I get the games because I love Ghostbusters. So when they talk about that reboot, you know, I give it a fair chance. I know it's not going to be a perfect movie. You know, I don't expect it to be. I just want this uh, franchise to live on. You know, to move on into you know from what it is right now. Yes, the movie might not be perfect, and you know what? But I enjoy all the movies that were not even perfect. I enjoyed Tennis Mitch and Ninja Turtles. In reality, it has nothing to do, nothing to do with the originals. We you know, in this case, with the comic book, or even with the first movie that, to my, in my opinion, was the best of all the Tennis Mitch and Ninja Turtle movies, and even the cartoons. That in reality, the cartoons were completely off of the movie, or even of the you know, of the comics. So in reality, when people talk. You know, they make no sense, you know, yeah, I want to give it a chance and, you know, oh, you know, this is misogynist, you know, they, they just, uh, you know, pondering to this, you know, and they doing that and it's just about girl power. And I said, what's wrong with girl power? I'm a father, I have a daughter, you know, I understand the importance of girl power. I don't care because the truth is that this is just a reboot and there's going to be another reboot in two years, five years, there's going to be another reboot. All franchises go to reboots and remakes and stuff like that. The, the fact is that this movie cannot be Ghostbusters 3 because we are so far behind from that opportunity. You know, there's no more. We don't have that chance. You know, the actors are gone or they're, you know, sadly that's the way. You know, they could have done that many, many years ago. They didn't. You know, that, that was dead for so long. They fought so hard to bring it back in and they did this way. So. I'm gonna give it a chance. If I don't like it, I'll say it. You know, I don't. It's not a perfect movie. I already watched some of the reviews, and you know, some people, you know, are fair. They say, you know, this is a popcorn film. Bring popcorn, bring, bring soda, and just enjoy it for what it is. And that's what I'm going to do, like I do everything else. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Uh, definitely excited. I don't know what are you excited about uh, with the upcoming movies or about San Diego Comic Con and all the companies of all the new releases for the next part of the year or next year. So whatever you have comments, you just leave your comments below. Uh, ask you have any questions, please leave your questions. Uh, definitely I like to uh, interact with you and I do appreciate that you take the time to watch my videos and to support my channel. Uh, watch my videos, you know, I, I'm trying to work as hard as I can but I'm also busy, you know, I have a busy life schedule uh, all the time. I'm busy with work, family, things like that, personal stuff, uh, church because I'm a, ch uh, you know, uh, you know, I go to church. Things like that, I'm busy. So I'll try my best to have, you know, all the reviews possible. So. What else you what would you like to talk about? Just let me know in the question in the in the description below in the comments and we'll see you know how it goes. So thank you once again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care my friends.